30 minutes of practice remaining on day one of activity on the streets of Hamilton for the ITM 400 as 28 V8 supercars depart the pit lane and garage area. Neil Crompton and Mark Scape joining you and we're very much looking forward to this. There is the threat of a little bit of weather in the background at the moment which puts a little extra intensity in trying to verify final settings on these cars in preparation for what's going to be an amazing day tomorrow where we have both qualifying and the shootout and race five of our championship followed by qualifying and race number six on Sunday. You can already see a little bit of moisture on the lens of the camera over the top of the main straight at the moment. That's looking down towards the final corner. This weekend there's lots to talk about. We've got an amazing championship battle well and truly alive at the moment. 144 point margin. Jamie Wincup to Mark Winterbottom and then Garth Tanda. Garth Tanda and Jamie Wincup are the only two drivers to have won races on the streets of Hamilton. And for the first time, as I welcome Mark Scaife to the commentary box, we're using the Dunlop soft tyre this weekend, and that's going to really electrify things, Mark. It certainly will, Crompo. It's, uh, it's a very complex circuit, and the layout of the track that uh, you can see there is a, it's a funny balance of a, of a sort of a place like the Gold Coast with a bit of maybe Sydney and also um, its own character in terms of its grip level and the ability to get the car stopped in a couple of the areas into turn one, into turn two, into turn five and into turn six makes it a very difficult circuit under brakes. We've seen a lot of cars already off the road in those runoff areas at those critical places and in the last session in practice three there were 25 cars within one second we're on the soft tire this weekend for the first time ever for the itm 400 around the streets of hamilton using the soft compound sprint tire and we're going to see lap times better than at any stage in history at this racetrack We've had three sessions of practice so far. Todd Kelly was the fastest man in that first session earlier today. Paul Dumbrell in the bottle of Ford was fastest in practice number two. We're watching Craig Lowndes' team Vodafone on the approach to turn five at the moment. And he was the fastest man in practice three. One minute, 23.3. And if you follow all of the action of V8 Supercar racing, the non-championship round for these cars was recently run at the Australian Grand Prix and Lowndes was involved in an incident. They thought at one stage that they may well have had to use a spare car this weekend. That's not the case. He's in his regular car. Quite a bit of repair work had to be done. But two of his colleagues in the field are in spare cars. They include Stephen Johnson and Rick Kelly. And Lowndes is the first to open his account in this practice session at 1 minute 23.6 but immediately eclipsed by his teammate Wincup. 123.5. Lee Holdsworth 123.7 and Lee was the third fastest in practice three. So all the usual suspects are where you'd expect them to be early in the piece, Mark. They certainly are. This is a great shot on board with James Courtney, last year's series champion. Now moved across to the Toll Holden Racing Team and have a look at the pedal work versus the steering. You can see up the top of the screen there the amount of work that you do around this circuit and the very hard braking applications that we made reference to at the start of this session. Have a look at the throttle and the way that the modulation is done. There's some places around here where the grip level is very high and you can be very aggressive with the rate of acceleration. You can see that pedal work there, back to the brake now on the throttle. And other places, you've got to be very gentle with the throttle. So the surface changes around this circuit and the way that the guys get the best yield from this track is actually quite a demanding little circuit. Have a look at this, it's very hard stop into turn one. James was only 15th fastest in practice three. And I should point out the first two practice sessions, it involves those cars and drivers that are in the bottom 14 of the championship. So they effectively get another two practice sessions and those that are in the top half of the field get to play for practices three and four. Wind Cup green box is indicating great speed from him. The best see speed we've seen so far this weekend, but immediately tipped over by Lee Holdsworth, who's now done at 123.15, the fastest lap we've ever seen around this racetrack. 
as we look at the uh, body language of these cars, guys, you can see them working hard. One of the fundamental differences on the soft tyre versus the hard tyre that's been here last year is more grip, and that means not just more grip in the corners, that's more grip on braking, cornering and acceleration. What's going to be interesting, and it may be saved by any wet weather, is how much harder that's going to be on the cars, on the bumps and grinds and curves of a street circuit, because the extra forces and pressure that's going to put through the chassis, chassis through that extra grip. Yeah, it's a good point, Larko. You can see the body language here. This is Wing Cup giving the left-hand mirror a little tweak. But your point's absolutely right, Mark Larko, making those comments from pit lane and looking up and down the field and looking at the cars through these down. first few sessions. They're definitely using more suspension travel. Even here, this is only a little bit of a kink and the cars climb across the kerb. And between those kerbs, the difference in the road profiles and the bumps that we see in critical areas of this racetrack on the soft tyre, all that does is make the, the work of the chassis, the body of the car does a lot more work and the way to tune the car on this tyre is more difficult. That white control line that you can see in the foreground then indicates where the pit lane speed limit needs to be engaged. 40 kilometres an hour when the cars are transiting pit lane. Wind Cup has gone to the lane. He's now been joined by both. Uh, uh, two tenths first sector, one tenth in the middle sector, and 0 0.15 in the last sector. It's gone in there with Holdsworth and with Lowndes. It's amazing. There are nine cars separated by just half a second and Lee Holdsworth is the fastest man at the moment.